Hello, welcome along to this watercolour channel. My name is Jeff Goodwin. If you want to send an email, jeffgoodwinart at gmail.com. That's J-E-F-F-G-O-O-D-W-I-N-A-R-T -E at gmail.com. This is the watercolour painting we've done. It's a scene in Brisbane back in the 1960s with a tram uh, going down through the middle of the street, a little car there in the background behind the tram and some accommodation there on the left-hand side. That's the original photograph that I found. And we're painting from that original photograph. And there's my drawing, which is a lot bigger. There's a tram and the buildings that I was showing you in the original watercolour. So, yeah, it's a bit small, so I've enlarged the whole thing. See the sky there and shadow on the street. Anyway, I'll do my interpretation of that photograph and we'll end up hopefully with something that um, will resemble that photograph a bit. Of course, don't be afraid to put your own spin on it, your own interpretation. This is uh, cobalt blue. I have not wet the paper first. You can wet the paper for your skies first. But I've chosen just to use a very wet mix of cobalt blue in here. I'm leaving some areas um, of white paper on purpose just to give um, the impression of some clouds. A little bit of yellow ochre in there. So we'll put a little bit of um, uh, black just in on the sky there, just to give the impression of uh, some darker clouds in one area, but being careful not to overdo it. Yeah, I think that's okay. So that's dry now, that sky, virtually dry. 
And we're putting a mixture here of some raw sienna and some burgundy. And we'll keep that going in different intensities with um, areas of this roof. Being careful to paint around the dome there. So we've got a lighter wash. Which we will apply for the rest of the roof. Very light wash down here for the rest of the roof. More of a burgundy here. All right, so we are darkening up one area here on the roof. Bit of a sh shadow there.
darkening up some windows. <clears throat> Putting a little bit of colour on the dome on these two domes, so sort of a, um, a yellow ochre type colour. This is a uh, raw sienna, which we're putting down and mixed with a raw sienna there, mixed with a tiny bit of peach, not much though. Please subscribe, click that little bell icon, so we'll be working on um, doing uh, watercolour, just concentrating on different skies fairly soon. And uh, how to do um, some different water techniques. We'll be getting into that fairly soon in, into the new year. Might even go live one day with a um, question and answers. But uh, if I'm going to go live, I'll give you some notice. putting black down here to make those uh, windows stand out more along the side. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, this is supposed to be um, a Brisbane street somewhere, Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, in the 1960s with the tram going down the centre of the street. It's from a photograph that we're painting from that I found on the internet. I'm actually going uptown into Brisbane sometime next week and I'll be taking some more photographs of uh, some of the buildings and uh, coming back and painting, painting some of those as well. But as I said before, we're going to be doing um, tutorials just on how to do different skies and how to do different sorts of water. And we'll get into those into the new year as well.
So we will darken up where the arch is. We've just used black to go around the arch and we'll fill in the middle area. And we might even have a couple of little um, people up there um, where that archway is. So look out for a couple of little guys up, up in there. We'll put them in later. You can see down below the awning, I've um, already drawn in where two people are going to be about to cross the road. So if you take a photograph of um, a scene with your phone and you want to paint it, you don't really have to print it out. You can just um, look at the photograph on your phone and, and paint it from that. Or if you want to film it, film yourself painting it, then um, take the photograph with another phone and uh, reserve your, your good phone for filming. Or you could print it out like I did. <laughs> Painting under the awning. When we get to those people, I'm going to have to be careful. I go around those people. You can see where those are, the uh, big arches are just on the top of where I'm painting. You can see a little bit of, it's, it, I put black in there, but I ended up putting um, a little bit of uh, um, yellow ochre in there. You can just see it in there. There we are. We've painted around where those people are that are about to cross the road.
Back in the 1960s in Brisbane, there was no air conditioning. No such thing. Not in Brisbane anyway. So just um, darkening under this awning with some black. Carry it through under that awning, under that little railing there. Not, not an awning, but a railing just underneath there. Just the railing, just using the fine point on this brush to get the railing marks in there, just to accentuate them a bit more. Some little markers along the top here.
concentrating on the building on this side for, for a while. So it's just using black, matte black, for that part there. Then we'll go into some raw umber. Here we go with the raw umber. Mix with some black. A bit more raw umber. So just uh, some quick random brush strokes just to give the illusion of plenty of detail in this uh, building, buildings rather, on the right hand side here that I'm painting. It's raw rumba, some black in there. There'll be a little bit of burgundy at times. So you can see, you know, it looks like there's a lot of detail, but it's really just some brush strokes. And um, we could have put a bit more color in there, I suppose, if we wanted to. But I'm happy to leave it like that. It looks more silhouette on that side. And you can see right in the foreground, there's a, um, a figure that I'm yet to fill in. 
and um, I'll be doing that with black paint. So I'm starting on the tram now. And I've just got a mixture here. It's just um, white mixed with black, so a bit of a gray mixture. This is just the top of the uh, roof or the top of the tram. I'm just sort of uh, trying to lighten that up a bit. There we go, that's a bit better. So we'll let that dry there. Still got more of the roof of the tram to go. That's better. Just continuing this building up here. Still got to finish the tram off. That guy right in the foreground. Also the people that are under the awning with the building on the left hand side about to cross the road. We've got to um, finish them off as well. And we need to put a couple of people up in that big archway up the top of that building on the left hand side. So we'll do that as well. It's just filling this guy in here in the foreground. He's sort of walking away from us. Uh, it's got just a silhouette here. We'll fill him in completely.
So you can see it's starting to take shape now. As we're doing the, uh, the street. Now that um, street that we're doing is using Payne's Grey because I think it, it looks better for a street, the Payne's Grey, rather than just trying to use black or grey. Payne's Grey gives a nice um, uh, bitumen type of look or a stony, bluey look. It's also good to paint rocks as well um, If uh, with uh, Payne's Grey. You can use other colours for rocks, but Payne's Grey... If you look after some blackish looking rocks or dark rocks, Payne's Grey is perfect for that. And then we need to put some shadow where that car is. Painting some shadow there in the foreground as well. So we're just working on the tram now just to black those windows in. I want a bit of a uh, zebra crossing where those people are about to cross on the other side of the street. So the tram's uh, taking shape. You see where that yellow awning is on the left, on the left-hand building? We're um, yet to add some writing, some red writing there. I think um, it's supposed to say Kodak Film with red writing. So we'll get into that soon. I want to put some shadow down this tram now. So I've got a light uh, mix, just of uh, a light wash of um, matte black. Very light wash. Just to give a bit of shadow down the front of this tram. There we go. So, there it is. We've taken the tape off. That's our completed painting. I hope you like it. You see the red Kodak film there, the, the uh, cross, crossing there, the zebra crossing. You see those little uh, figures there waiting to cross the road. 
for their heads, I've just used an, um, an orange red for that. Um, so there it is. Hope you enjoyed that. It's Brisbane City in the 1960s with a tram there. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll be back again soon with another watercolour.